Tonight's weather report is brought to you by Australian Pensioners Insurance Agency, a company that gives you understanding, not just insurance. Good evening. It's a big cyclone night because today is the 25th anniversary since Tropical Cyclone Albie hit the southwest corner of the state. And now we've got one of the biggest tropical cyclones in Australian history sitting off the northwest coast, Tropical Cyclone Inigo. The Bureau today put the central pressure of Inigo at 900 hectopascals. And just to give you a feeling of how deep that is, the lowest pressure ever recorded in, in Australia is 905 hectopascals. That was with Tropical Cyclone Orson in 1989. And uh, just to extend it to the world scale, Super Typhoon Tip are in the Philippines in 1979. That's the lowest pressure ever been measured uh, with uh, cyclones. 880 hectopascals. More on the cyclone in a moment. We'll have a look at the sky scan, which shows sunny conditions over the metropolitan area. There is the chance of a thundery shower this evening as uh, storms have developed to the northwest and northeast of the city at the moment. But for much of the day, the skies were clear, the overnight temperatures were high. It only dropped down to 21 degrees at Gosnells, Pierce, Rottnest, and Swanbourne. Perth, 19.6 last night at 21 minutes to 7 this morning, 32.6 the maximum at 4 to 2 this afternoon. It's just under 31 degrees at the moment. The relative humidity is 31%. The winds are south easterly at 13 kilometres per hour and the barometer 1,010.5 hectopascals and falling. Daytime temperatures range from 29 degrees on Rottnest Island through to 34 degrees at Lancelin and Swanbourne. And around the state today, 40 degrees was the highest at Panawanaka. The lowest maximum was 20 degrees at Eucla and Red Rocks Point. And uh, the lowest last night was 11 degrees at Bridgetown and Wandering. The heaviest rainfall in the 24 hours to 9 o'clock this morning was 13 millimetres at Marble Bar and the most in the 6 hours till 3 o'clock this afternoon, 4 millimetres at Columbaroo. Now to Tropical Cyclone Inigo on the series of satellite photographs. At the moment it's about 900 kilometres to the north-northwest of Port Hedland. It's got an excellent eye structure. It's only moving slowly southwestwards at around 15 kilometres an hour at the moment. The Bureau estimates the mean winds around the centre of this cyclone at the moment are 230 kilometres per hour and wind gusts close to the centre to 320 kilometres per hour. It will move towards the Pilbara coast over the weekend. A coastal crossing is likely on Tuesday. The system is expected to deteriorate in the meantime, but it should still be a severe cyclone when it reaches the northwest coast. On the surface chart, we've got the trough running down the west coast, pumping the heat into the southwest land division today, and isolated thundery showers have developed right along that trough line into the southwest corner of the state. By this time tomorrow, the trough's going to be further east. The unsettled weather should be on the eastern side of that trough. As the front moves through, the trough will go further east and there'll be a humid change in west coastal districts, and most of the west coastal districts should remain fine. On Sunday, the trough should go even further east and we'll get some cooler air reaching the southwest corner of the state as the next high pressure cell starts to build up. Let's go round the nation now, where Darwin's expecting a shower. There's mostly fine conditions in Brisbane tomorrow. Cairns is going for a late shower. Sydney, a few showers. Hobart, some drizzle. Uh, very little, though, and the other centres should be fine. On local waters, south to southwesterly winds of 10 to 15 knots should become northeasterly at 8 to 12 knots overnight, and then northwesterly by noon at 10 to 15 knots. Tomorrow afternoon, west to southwesterly is a forecast at 13 to 18 knots. The sea should rise to 1.2 metres tomorrow. The swell should increase to 3 metres overnight. That's for offshore waters. Inshore, the swell should be around 1.2 metres. The high tide is again the first tide to report for tomorrow. It's a metre at a minute past 11 in the morning and the low tide 0.6 of a metre at 20 minutes past 6 tomorrow evening. The fire danger remains high and the UV rating is back to 6 and it's uh, still high on a 6. Forecast for Perth, it should be fine, apart from the chance of a thundery shower this evening. Any thundery showers would be short-lived and tomorrow will be fine, though we'll have a humid southwesterly change in the afternoon. The minimum, 20 degrees, and tomorrow's maximum should be around 31. Sunday should be fine and partly cloudy, a top of 26 degrees. Monday should be fine and 24 degrees. Tuesday and Wednesday depends on tropical cyclone Inigo. At this stage, it looks like we're going to get some thundery showers or some thundery rain. Here's Greg and Selena. Good night. Thank you, Michael, and that's all in 10 News for the moment. We leave you now with a Cuban carnival at Cottesloe Beach today. It's just a taste of what to expect when Lo Maximo de Cuba is performed at Burswood next weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night.